Here we have the Hyosung GT250R. It's got a fuel injection V twin 250 along with front double disc brakes and probably one of the best better sounding 250 uh, engines around. The instrument cluster is very well thought out. Hyosung's continuing the trend of digital speedo and analog taco. Also has a very handy clock and fuel gauge. The seat is actually it's pretty wide and surprisingly comfortable over long distances. I did about 100 k's or so non-stop and no problems at all. The engine is very smooth. When you're at the lights, uh, for learners, you're never going to have any problems stalling the bike or over revving it. Thanks to the fuel injection, it's very smooth, very predictable. The combination of the light weight of the bike and the good suspension picks up all the bumps in the road within it without any problems, but it also means that it's also very easy to throw around when you want, but at the same time, it's just as fun to just cruise on the freeway. You won't have any problems with that either. But probably the best thing about this bike is the size. I think most people upgrade from 250s because they want a bit more power and for some of the, some of the bigger blokes they can feel a bit you know, embarrassed riding these little pity 250s. But with the GT250R, the frame is almost the same size as the GT650R. So as a result, you don't at any time you do not feel like you're riding a 250. I was at a set of lights yesterday next to some done up cars and honestly they all thought I was some high tech uh, high performance superbike. So if you're young, you know, you might go to uni, you want to impress the ladies on your 250 license, this is the bike for it. At the same time, if you're in your mid-20s, your mid-30s, you want to start getting into motorcycling, but you know, you don't want to get picked on by your mates in their big cars, this is equally the bike for you. At the same time, if you don't want to upgrade from your 250, you know, you're happy with the fuel consumption, you're happy with the really good brakes, the good suspension, the good size. This is what you're after. It's absolutely brilliant. If I had my time again, I absolutely would have gone for this bike.